draft. You yes. can pick one NL East pitcher to take the ball in a winner take all scenario. Who's your horse? Oh, I, I think I'm definitely taking a Braves guy. It's going to be between Freed and Strider, but right now, the way he's throwing the ball, for, Freed's throwing the ball good too right now, so you can't sleep on him. But I'm going, I love a dominant strikeout guy. Spencer Strider reminds me of a, a young Roy Oswald. I think I'm taking him in a big game right now. Spencer Strider all day long. It's that fastball, that wipeout slider. He's just a competitor on the mound. Short guy, but a lot of power, power <laughs> arm. I, I love his game, so I'm, I'm taking Strider right now. Small but mighty. Yes. Speaking of strikeouts, I love the Phillies starter, Zach Wheeler. I would take mm -hmm. Wheeler because he could go seven innings. He also has the best playoff ERA amongst all those NL East pitchers that you would really think of. Max Scherzer, Verlander, Freed, Strider. His numbers, Wheeler, better than all of them in the playoffs. That's why I need him in a winner-take-all scenario, Ooh. X. I, I need somebody that can not go seven. I need someone that can give me nine. I'm looking at Sandy Alcantara. He six complete games last year. This has got to be my guy right here. I love the strikeout capability, but also he knows how to get the weak contact, knows how to get himself deep into the ball game. And another thing, too, is he's got to face all those other teams, and he makes those batters look like just they don't know what they're looking at up there. He does an amazing job. So I got to go with Sandy Alcantara in this whole thing right here. Great choices. Those are cute, but Sandy Alcantara is my guy. I mean, well, we, didn't, was, we weren't looking for your approval, <laughs> but... <laughs> It, I don't think this was an ex TikTok <laughs> list. <laughs> but it is kind of odd that, you know, nobody said Verlander or Scherzer, though. Uh, like, well, excuse I, me very much. On, no oh. one has asked your girl over here sitting in the got? host well, seat. Well, well, LG. Thank you. LG. Yes, I and did. And a big game winner take all, LG. I Who want the take? heat. I want the fire. I want the passion. And nobody embodies all of those characteristics as much as this guy, Max Scherzer. <laughs> How about him? 2019, I also remember being there in San Francisco game five we don't have footage Light of flex, this and flex. I was covering the game for MLB <laughs> Network and not a big Another deal flex. <laughs> <laughs> that dude said I want the ball shortly after a start to close out a game recorded his first save okay. to go on okay. to the NLCS did they win the World Series this year, that year maybe not but either way I want the passion I mean, I like you can't go thing. wrong with it, some those of those. Are all you can't go wrong with them, but. I just want both teams to have fun. I mean, you can't like, go wrong because only one's going to win. Yeah. If they're facing each other, two on two, I mean, we're talking about an NLC, ALC, NLCS. I'm saying Strider's getting that win, baby. Strider versus well, Scherzer. Well, we saw Strider in the playoffs last year, and it wasn't good. We saw Scherzer as well. Yeah. Oh, wait, excuse me, Ariel. We also saw <laughs> Wheeler. We did see Wheeler in the playoffs. Still pitched better than all of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't see Sandy on concert. No. But. Yeah, I was going to say. 2020. But he was 2020. busy collecting his Cy uh, Young. Yeah, seriously. I wonder what would happen now because Sandy Alcantara was still a young name in 2020 when he made his playoff appearance. What would he look like today in the playoffs? Maybe we'll see it this year. Yeah.